Hey guys, Brian with Thunder Laser USA. I wanted to show you something real quick. If you guys um, have the dual stage air assist control on your machine, um, Adam, one of our contributors and member of the Thunder Laser family, came across something. If you go into devices and just next through it, you're likely going to have serial USB selected as default if you're set up uh, USB. If that's the case, give it a shot with packet USB. Uh, if you're Ethernet, you don't have to worry about it. And if you already have USB packets selected, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and go ahead and change that. And the reason why is we've noticed some inconsistent behaviors with the dual air assist selecting uh, whether it's the cut mode or the engrave mode and the way it chooses in Lightburn uh, is in your layer if you have air assist on it's going to be cut mode if you have air assist off you're still going to get air assist but it's going to be the engrave side and you can adjust the flow of each of those with the needle valves that are mounted on the front of the unit on the left hand side so that when you're engraving you can have a light wisp of air just to keep the lens and stuff clean and when you're cutting it'll switch over to uh, full blast if that's where you have it set to help uh, evacuate the debris field and keep uh, flame ups at a minimum and that kind of thing so that's how that works but he noticed that <clears throat> in serial mode sometimes they would get backwards and get out of whack so again go to your devices double click your device that's already set up go ahead and next through the stuff and when you get to the connection uh, if you're on serial USB click packet USB if you are already packet or if you're ethernet connected you don't have to worry about it all right guys hope that helps until next time i'm out